Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with Tate and Tate. I am Tate Explosive One Jones, your man on the stick. Oh, sticky as F in here. And we're a playing Man Twitter. Yay. <laughs> with the Kansas City Muffin Shacklows. Yeah. With the Kansas Play City with the Kansas City Triangle pieces. What are those? Arrowheads? Uh, guitar picks. Kansas City guitar picks. <laughs> KC Guitar Picks. That's what it kind of looks like to Sippy. me. Dude, that's actually a pretty good name for a team. The yeah, Guitar dude. Picks. The Nashville Guitar Picks. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, the Austin Picks. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? Why are you hating? Jones, did you know? What? This is going to sound crazy, but there is a freaking school where their team name is the cotton pickers really i am dead serious jonas i mean there's a there's a team that is the game cocks too <laughs> okay okay yeah i get that but <laughs> well, well how is wait cotton pickers <laughs> yeah <laughs> you can just sense sense the unease in his voice yes the cotton pickers Why, jonas. what city it's in freaking texas of course weird oh yeah dude so, like, I heard about this, like, I don't know if it was, like, John Oliver or whatever a couple months ago. And then I, I'm like, no, no way it's still that. I freaking Google search it up, and I see just, like, some some kids on the basketball court of a sudden creed and age. And they're just sitting there in their cotton picker jerseys and cotton pickers on the wall. And I'm just like, hmm, well, isn't that what nice? What is the cotton picker's logo? It's is it like, like a cotton gin? No, it's not a cotton gin. They're not like credit Eli Whitney. No, it's just like a, a cotton flower, I guess, with like the seeds and stuff. You know how cotton looks. Yeah, like. it grows on a bush I don't plant. Know, yeah. I don't know exactly what you would call a cotton tree. It's not a tree. It kind of look like uh, like pussy willows, but bigger. Yeah. They, don't they have like seeds in the cotton too? And that's what the gin does. It like separates the yeah. cotton from the seeds. So they kind of look like the pussy willow twigs, but they like uh, they like bloom or whatever. Not that I've ever seen it, but I've seen, well, obviously, I saw it when I was doing my research. So immediately, Jonas, I was like, I have to get me some cotton picker gear. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> yes! Are you kidding me? So, oh, Jesus, this sounds exactly like something you would do. So I'm all... I'm just... <laughs> oh, but my... you don't remember what town it was? I know. This was a long time ago. I, it, honestly, it just came to my... Oh, could you not find any? Uh, no, I found a store that would sell it. It was a little expensive. It wasn't like it didn't like if I was found found some fire, like some fire cotton picker gear. Pff, <laughs> get the hell out of here! But uh, I I urge people to look it up. Uh, There's a lot of really messed up team names. It's a high school though. Oh, it's uh, okay. Yeah, a high school. That's even worse almost. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> that's what I said, man. Yeah, at least if it's like a college. Like maybe they could have like some sort of history no, or something. Man. Maybe there used to be like a big export of their state or something. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. But like. But yeah, I get it, man. It's 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 a little it's a little off. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> just name them. Off. God, there, there's some other really messed up team names out there. Oh, these good. guys are not <laughs> enjoying each other's company. Sorry. But nothing like that. Nothing like that. No, I, don't. I can't think. Dude, I, <clears throat> I can't remember any of them now. The Bama. I want to say. Yeah, the. Uh, <laughs> What's what are they called? The Crimson Tide. The Crimson Tide. There's like. I want to say Providence. Rhode Island has the college has a weird mascot, it's like the Friars or something. Oh, it's like a like a, a holy man. I think I don't remember. Just taking a jab at religion. I, I, yeah, I'm trying to remember. I don't I don't brain very well sometimes. <clears throat> no, nah, dude, I don't really know college teams either, or even high school teams. But... Especially like really like ones that aren't the big 25 schools, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean everybody, not everyone, but a lot of people know, like you know, like Ohio State and Florida State and Miami and like all that sort of like big Texas and hook 'em horns, right? They're like but you don't know, like Middle Tennessee State, you know the the rabid rab badgers. As a as a non Texas native, Jonas, how much cringe does it cause you to see somebody throw up the horns and say hook 'em horns? Oh, dude, you know what I you know what I really uh, think is interesting is when the people like get all like 
really like in each other's face about colleges. <laughs> Like through Texas, where they're all okay, like, "All right, I'm listening." Because like the, I'm I think that Texas A and M and Texas are like, right. Well, they used to be rivals. Texas A and M moved out of the division. Or yeah, whatever. naturally. But I think like I think that A and M is thing is gig em, like G I G M. Yeah. And they'll be like, and they'll like go at each other about gig em and hook em. Like oh. I'm like, dude, what? Like or like if somebody sees like people wearing A and M stuff around Austin, they'll be like, oh. Aggies, bro. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, dude. What? Texas just loves a good civil war. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They just it's can't like, get enough of yeah, them. Yeah, it's like Texans Cowboys in the NFL. Yeah, and dude. He's got to have a reason to divide the state. And what's funny is, like, if you look at even Ohio, it's like there's no rivalry between the Bengals and, and the Browns. <laughs> They've both been trash for so long. If they yeah, were but, good and fighting in the playoffs, maybe. But even mm. still, I don't know if you even see that with uh, with California teams necessarily. I mean, there's probably a little bit of animosity there, but... Yeah, I, yeah. I not, as, not as, like, just down home as it is here in Texas. Yeah, dude. Oh man! I'm very proud of stuff. Here. So, it, so it does. It does make you cringe to see people toss up the hook'em horns. I think when people are that into anything, it makes me cringe. I mean, what's being that into it? It's more the fact that I've been to like a ton of metal shows, and when I throw up the horns, that means that I want to worship Satan, not that I want to what? Those are different horns. They're the no joke. They're not different horns. They're the same freaking horns. No, they aren't, dude. I'm looking at all of these middle class, happy go lucky people who listen to freaking Billie Eilish and they're throwing up the freaking de devil horns. They're talking Billy Eagle. No, dude. No, there's a difference. Jonas, I swear. And here's the difference. What is it? The metal horns, your fingers are collapsed and yes. the thumb is on top. Uh huh. The horns. Jonas, that's freaking Wolfpack. I, right? That's, East, that's WCW Wolfpack. <laughs> I know. They but can't have that one either. That was the Longhorns thing before it was the Wolfpack thing. That's Big Papa Pump. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't in the Wolfpack, was he? I don't remember. <laughs> that's Kevin Nash, <laughs> Steven Tyler. Wow, Aerosmith Sting. in there? Yeah, he was. <laughs> Sting, the lead singer of Aerosmith, and Diesel. That was the <laughs> Steven Tyler. No, Sting, the lead singer from what? <laughs> the actual Sting, like the artist. <laughs> I don't know, or did the same person? Yeah, <laughs> I believe Sting had a career as a pop artist and a wrestling champion. Isn't Sting and Sting the same person? Anybody named Sting has to be the same man. This is that whole mighty mighty boss tones, real big fish. Never gonna uh, knock on wood. What? Who did? Uh, you might as well be walking on the sun. Who did that? Uh, Smash Mouth. Yeah. Smash Mouth. Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. And uh, what's the? He was the Canadian guy, and he played the harmonica. What was the six name? They're the same people. <laughs> Those are the same band. Jesus. <laughs> they're the same I would are. say Blues Traveler is probably the most different out of all those. No, they're the same thing. Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, Blues Traveler, and Smash Mouth are the same band. They are. They're all like heavy set, just guys who are just like, I'm the lead singer, I guess. Not attractive, but you know, I got soul. I got soul. <laughs> Soul's all it takes. I can't tell the difference between Chickity China or Never Had to walk, Knock on Wood. Chickity China? What are you talking about? Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. You oh. Get them and get them start kicking. Watching X-Files with no lights on. No, Jonas? Yeah, dude, I know what song that do you is. Know, do you know the whole song? No. Sing it. Chamba did chicken. <laughs> Wonderful. It's basically the lyrics. I might as well have been the guy who wrote the song. Chibity chicken. Red... <laughs> Ch kitchen, red chic kitchen, red yeah. kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Grandma's watching. Cheers with no lights on. Yeah, that's she's got a great bond. She loves. It's not cheers. better than Twizzlers. She has a norm fetish. Yes, she, she does. <laughs> you ever watch Cheers? I did when I was a kid. See, I never liked it. I didn't know what it was, dude. Like, I didn't get it. I was a kid, dude. I was like, oh, they're all sitting around this thing. You know what's funny what's is that? that the reason I did not like Cheers. It's because they used words that were too big, and I didn't understand what they were saying. Oh, really? I guess yeah. I didn't realize that. Uh, yeah. That was my problem, because they used a lot of just, like, a wording. That was it, it a was smart a show? 
it was it felt smarter than me. Like because but, I mean you're also a child. Yeah. So I mean like watching like, it now you probably be like, wow. Like Night Court I could follow. Dude. Night Court I could follow, but Cheers it was just like this is this Night is Night Court was a weird show. Looking back, it was about like the behind the scenes wackiness of the judge and the lawyers yeah. handling all the It was great. Dude, they should redo some of this stuff. Like Night Court, dude, if they redid Night Court now, they should actually have a a reality show Night Court. Oh no! See, no, I don't want. No, we've done that enough. They have reality show Night Court. No, we've done enough reality shows. Oh yeah. If I see a reality show, I'm automatically like automatically not watch it. It turns my stomach, but I will watch it. Like a uh, somebody wrote some episodes for it, and I would kill for another Alf. <laughs> another Alf or like a small wonder. Small wonder. Small that wonder. Sounds familiar, but not. Small wonder was the. Uh, she was like an eight-year-old girl, but she was a robot, and she was the maid of the house. Oh, I vaguely remember that. She's a small <laughs> wonder. <laughs> I don't know the rest of it. That's all I remember. But it was. She was an eight-year-old girl who played a robot maid, and she would just be. She, obviously, it was just like fish out of water. She'd be like, I don't know how to do this correctly. You ask for ice cream and she slap it in your hand. You're like, oh, <laughs> Jesus, Vicky. I think her name was Vicky. Dude, that actually, like, I'm having, like, flashbacks. Yo, that was a show. Yeah, dude. That was a show. It was That's a whole show. Sweet. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. I, I remember stuff like that. Sitcoms from back then. But I was, yet, when I bring up anything, you don't remember it. Well, I don't remember it enough to, like, reminisce a lot. <laughs> I remember the things I remember. F the things you remember. Well, I don't remember some of the most of the stuff you remember. Because I'm old. Yeah, you're considerably older than me. Yeah. Though we did both watch Perfect Strangers. Oh, that was a good show. Dude, it's basically our lives. God. <laughs> your cousin Larry, and I'm... You're from frick, Meepos? I'm, and I'm Balky. You're from, why are you Balky? You're from Meepos? <laughs> I might as well be <laughs> from the inner inner streets, inner city streets of Cleveland. That's a better small. That's a better uh, perfect strangers, dude. That show was so good, and I don't know why I liked it, but I did. It's really like if you go back and watch it. It's not the oh, best. it's awful, dude. It's not the best, dude. I remember there was this. I just remember it's there was not. an episode where Balky got a checkbook and wrote a bunch of checks for everything, and didn't realize he had to have the money for it. And Larry was like, "Balky, you can't just be writing bad checks." <laughs> <laughs> he was writing checks for like 75 cents for like some apples at the store and stuff. Uh, 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 Cousin Larry, don't be ridiculous. Yeah, right? He's like, ah. And everybody would laugh every episode he would say it. Yep. <laughs> everybody would <laughs> yeah, dude. It was just the laughter. Yep. And then there was another one they went on a game show. This is only two episodes I remember. <laughs> I don't remember. And they were those. dating those two girls that were basically like sisters or roommates. Yeah, too. they were hot too. Yeah, dude. It was like Lori and... They had, they had that giant teased 90s hair. Oh my God. They had the biggest hair ever. Oh my God. I don't know what the hell, dude. Like when you, look back, groupies. when you look back at fashion, dude, I don't know if any, any decade has gotten it correct yet. Yeah. I guess like right now is is okay. I think but it's the most normal looking people have ever looked with just like <sighs> short stylized hair and like if you have long hair, it's not all poofy. It's just kind of like yeah, like kind of like the rise of the metrosexual has helped <laughs> helped a little bit. I could see that. Yeah, like because nothing. Like yeah, it's just everyone just kind of looks average. Now. <laughs> <laughs> that guy looks like a football coach, <laughs> right? <laughs> Look at football coach from the dictionary. <laughs> football coach looking son of a gun I've ever seen. <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, just cry. That's it. Jonas. <laughs> Why are you being depressing at the end <laughs> no, of all the dude, don't cry. Be happy. <laughs> don't worry. Be happy. Exactly. Uh, TNT Dynamite. Uh, we are out.